Hi guys, today I'm going to do a virtual walk around a fresh and stock BMW X2. It's the 2 litre diesel and it's the X Drive 4 wheel drive edition. It's also the M Sport edition. It's finished in this gorgeous mineral grey. As you can tell, lovely paintwork. Looks really nice, good colour. Going down to the alloys, you've got the 20 inch diamond turned M Spoke alloys, uh, M Sport alloys, sorry, uh, finished in silver, um, which looks really nice. You've got your M Sport badging on there too and your BMW badging. Look really nice. <coughs> Going to the front, you've got the BMW LED high performance headlights with daytime running lights in the new shape, which is really nice. Really powerful and clear lights. You've also got the Angel Eye, Danger, uh, Angel Eye uh, daytime running lights there as well. Because the M Sport, you've got a nice M Sport bumper and you've got really nice chrome around the kidney grills as well. Going on to the side, you've got your nice M Sport badging and you've got your matching club wing mirrors to the body colour with your indicators on there too and black housing nice black trim go along the outside of the windows you've got black b pillars and rear privacy glass too you've got matching colour door handles to the body colour too and nice bmw badging on the side as well if you go to the rear you've got matching coloured bumper and uh, matching coloured bumper to the body and uh, rear diffuser as well uh, we need two exhausts on either side with chrome tips if we go and open up the boot uh, we'll press the button on the boot the boot will pop open on its own really nice and clean great boot space fit tons in there and you've also got a load space cover too all you need to do is press this button and the boot will close on its own if we go into the interior of the car if we unlock it pretty gorgeous full leather upholstery with white contrast stitching really comfy and nice and spacious You've obviously got your rear fans there as well for your climate control, which can be adjusted in the back, and you've got a 12 volt there for charging or whatever you need to do. If we go into the interior of the front, we've got the same style seats, we've got some lumbar support as well, really comfy and nice seats. If we get into the car, it's wireless key entry, so put your foot on the brake, press the stop start button, the car will turn on. You've got your gorgeous full leather M Sport steering wheel controls on either side. On this side you've got your cruise control limiter, on this side you've got your volume control hands free and your mode select for your little digital driving dash which you can change radio stations or different displays or what you want to see up there which is nice. You've got flappy paddles on either side so if you want to change gears using that you can do that so that's a really nice alternative. Going down to the side, fully electric automatic windows and the ability to lock the rear windows. You've got your electric wing mirror functions there too. You've got Harman and Kardon sound system, so the best sound system BMW do, which I must say is very good. Sounds absolutely great. Um, you can adjust all the bass levels, trebles, and everything you can need, uh, so that's great. You've got central locking, um, obviously located there. Then you've got your electric, uh, not electric, sorry, uh, your automatic uh, headlights, uh, which can uh, you can switch to them, so they're automatic. Uh, dip beam and side lights, and you've got your parking lights and fog lights as well, which is great. Going over to the media display, Put the car reverse you get a little digital display showing your rear parking sensors which is nice and um, then also if you go to your map you've got a nice navigation system which is clear and nice and easy to use also if you go to your media display you've got a uh, radio so you've got dab fm and am you can also connect your own phone through bluetooth and usb uh, which is really nice going down got your climate control settings so you've got a nice digital display showing your temperatures on either side uh, which is great and also you've got heated seats on either side as well so that's also an also bonus going down with some storage space and your drinks holders which is great and another 12 volt there as well you got your automatic handbrake electric handbrake sorry and then you've got your traction control and then the different modes to put the car in so sport mode so it'd be a bit more responsive and you can use your flappy paddles um, or you can have it in comfort mode for normal everyday driving or you've got your eco mode if you want to save a bit of fuel. Go up the sense console, you've got some more storage space and a USB point there to connect your phone. So if you have any more questions about this car, please feel free to contact our sales team and potentially this could be your next new car. Cheers.